Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome back to Hobby Night. I have returned to Pot of Gold Collectibles because it's been a while since I've shopped for some toys and they've massively expanded their collection and I'm extremely excited about it. So without further ado, let's go, let's shop. As you can see, we're back in the store and they've expanded a lot, including into some Lego products, which as you guys know, I'm super into Lego. I'm always looking to collect more things, both for my army as well as for my city build. And I'm actually seeing some vintage stuff here. So I'm gonna take a peek around. I'm really excited about this. They have Star Wars stuff. And I've even noticed in some of the cases around here, they have a ton of minifigs. And you guys know how much I like minifigs. I love them. And I'm hoping I can find some good stuff that I might be taking home with me today. All right, we're of course gonna start by looking at some Lego and I found some box sets over here. They have some cute friend sets, although not necessarily ones that I'm looking to get but that's okay because there are a ton of things here. And I actually noticed, I really like when stores have these kinds of kits where they're, necess they're not necessarily in their original boxes, but they sometimes are older sets. And like, this is a cool Ninjago set, for example. And I've really started to get into Ninjago recently. Also, if you have not gotten this kit yourself, I actually just think this is a very fun Star Wars build. This is one of my favorite ship builds that I've done. Well. Yeah, I would still say that actually, even with some of the more recent ones that I've done. So this is a good one, maybe grab it. Although uh, sadly that one doesn't have any minifigs. No clones for you. Oh, actually, sorry, those are stormtroopers. Just kidding, just kidding, not clones. We also have a huge selection here. Now these are a little bit more modern, although again, that Ninjago set, that Ninjago set is, set is kind of tempting, although no monkey kid i'm not seeing any monkey kid which is a little bit of a shame it is my other favorite franchise outside of the star wars stuff but that is okay oh this is a that's not lego but that's a really cool castle dude i actually really like that they also have a variety of transformers as well as some like out of box transformers some like more vintage stuff <gasps> is that that is an amazing Grievous. I think that's Grievous. Is that Grievous as a robot? What is that from? I don't even know. I also really like the tank behind him. Like that just looks cool. Man, ever since I was at Open Sauce and I saw how you can transform some of these toys into just badass wargaming, remote controlled awesomeness, I've kind of wanted to get into that. Like it just, I think it would be really cool. And there's some awesome tanks. We'll show you those a little bit later that I think would be perfect for it. Obviously I didn't take you guys far enough. We needed to round the corner because look, look at all the minifigs, all of the minifigs. There's a ton of them. There are also some just like normal action figures in there too. But if you need some dark troopers, man, there's some dark troopers, man. There's actually some really neat stuff in here that I've not seen before. And that's kind of surprising to me considering how often I go to bricks and minifigs. But this is why you look in other places. What is this vintage yellow box? Whoa, that's so cool. Dude. Oh, if only it wasn't a hundred dollars. That's so badass though. I really actually have gotten into the space product recently and that ship looks amazing. Oh my God, they have a lot of really cool, like older sets in here. Oh, look at that Viking ship in the background. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it would be perfect for my run fair. And then look, even more mini figs. Now, all right, let's take a look at all the Star Wars stuff because um, there's a lot. Oh my God, look. I've not seen, I've not seen one of Ahsoka's trooper helmets in person before. It's $200. Why are you so expensive? Black series, you're beautiful. Also, I did notice as I was rushing past him, look at this. Wait, what do you, do you, do you say something? Hold on, Leia, please scoot your head. Hold on. Ah, uh, I was really hoping he would still say something. That is so cool. I did not know that they made like a, Oh, he's a clock. It's an Inquisitor clock. That is beautiful. Also, this Endor tree set, I don't know what this is from, 
but I totally would have been so into that as a kid. There are so many cool Star Wars things. Also, I saw these recently, and I don't know what these are, but there are Phase One Clone Troopers and also Imperial Death Troopers, which I am very fond of. And I'm gonna ask about these because I, I need to know more. Is, is that a belt buckle? I think that might just be a Star Wars belt buckle. I'm not gonna lie, part of me wants it. Part of me wants everything in this store though. Look at all the Black Series stuff, which is rad. I'm actually pretty caught up on what I might want for Black Series, although I am gonna take a look through these because like, like I have all my Bad Batch boys. I've got Tech, I even have the Omega. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I do like the Republic Commando looks kind of neat. Ooh, I do like this character. Cobb, he was neat from The Mandalorian. And I really like how bright and colorful he is. Okay, this one might be one that I take. I, can I just say, I'm really, really not into this style. You guys can debate me down in the comments, but I feel like a majority of people are going to agree with me of this style of casing where you can't actually see the figure and they just do this print on it, as opposed to this style where you can actually see the figure. This is superior to that. Debate it in the comments. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump into the video to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, especially if you're enjoying the content that you find here. And if you're into the spicier side of the hobby, well, my only fanatics VIP page is currently 50% off through the end of the month for new subscribers. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, use the link in the video description below, and I hope to see you there. Now let's go ahead and get back to the video. One other thing I wanted to point out is just look at all of the classic Kenner big sets that they have available. Like that AT-AT, super cool. The Millennium Falcon's neat, but not one of my ships. I do like the Interceptor. That one looks cool. Although I don't think that one's as vintage, at least based on the packaging. But these, oh, hey, look, it's that tree set we were looking at. So it was an Ewok Village action play set. That is amazing. Ooh, okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, these are all rad. I don't know where I'd put them if I ever got into the like larger Kenner sets, but I will admit they are kind of tempting as are all of these black series helmets. I want to bring you home with me. And now we've moved more into the 1980s Saturday morning cartoon section with Thundercats, which I admit I was a big fan of, and these are quite tempting. They're, they're pretty nice sculpts, actually. We also, oh my God, that is huge. Okay, I will admit the Thunder Tank is very cool. I wonder how big it is out of box. That is insane. That is such a large box. We also have some like vintage. I don't know if these are, I don't know if these are Kenner or not. I can't identify them. I, they kind of look like it to me, but you guys can tell me, for those of you that are uh, collectors of these particular figures, they are really cool though. I do like the G.I. Joe stuff. Like they are just very rad. Speaking of, G oh, oh, speaking of G.I. Joe, look at that. That is so cool. I don't even know why or what that is but it's so cool also look at all the little the little cutouts for his weapons i hadn't realized adorable fantastic we also have again more gi joe a bit of power rangers ah oh, the mega sword oh, that's always tempting it's actually been here for a little while the serpent serpentera i don't remember that one actually as much dang and then we move into the glass cases where they have a bunch of stuff open and out and it is just an overwhelming, just cacophony of beauty. And I love it. Look at, okay, so when I was talking earlier about how sometimes I really want to grab some of these larger tanks and like convert them into wargaming things just for my table, whether it be terrain or like making them movable tanks, like this is really where that inspiration comes from. Cause like, look at that. Imagine turning that thing into like a giant, Baneblade-esque thing for Warhammer or something. I don't know, it would be amazing. I just, 
a part of me wants to do it. There's just so much stuff to look at. They have all these glass cases in the back where people are allowed to sell their collections. And so I figured let's take a look in them and see what we have because there's usually some really good gems. We've actually bought quite a few uh, figures out of these cases before. So let's take a look around. Ooh. I love how much more anime has been coming into the store because you've got like the, the Fate Stay Night over there. We've got Robotech. Some, like, Robotech, which is really cool actually. I love seeing, oh my God, we have that, that's amazing. It's the collector's edition of um, one of the star, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on the name, Blizzard. Oh, you're talking about the, the special edition Starcraft. Yes, Starcraft, thank you. Yes. I could not think of the word Starcraft to save my life. Oh, they have a World of Warcraft one for Cataclysm too, that's cool. I didn't know they did like, I don't know why I didn't know that. Of course they probably did, mm -hmm. but I've never seen them. Man, they've really expanded the Hot Wheels collection too. Dang. Yeah, cause this is mostly Funko Pops, which is not really my thing. I never got into them very much, you know, just never. never you really had a few Game of Thrones ones. I had a few Game of Thrones ones. I've collected a few Dragon Ball Z ones. Like oh, I, I think have... we got rid of them. We have, we have the Hercule still, we have a Vegeta still, and we have like one other. We have and a Cody Rhodes. And a Cody Rhodes, yes. Yes. Um, and that is pretty much it for Funkos for us, but we do, oh, hold on, I saw pins though. Oh, they're Attack on Titan. Yes, if you're into Hot Wheels. There's a lot. Ooh, some more Lego though. Oh yes, the uh, Lego Dimensions. Actually, there's some, cool, relatively rare minifigs in some of those sets. There really are. There actually really are. I don't know if there's any there that we necessarily No, want. I've always been tempted by that one, though, because I do like the, um, I, I'm probably going to The Kashyyyk it. Trooper? The Kashyyyk Trooper, Kashyyyk. Yeah. Kashyyyk Trooper. Yeah, I mispronounced it, my bad. Um, yeah, I really like that. Oh, also, look at these vintage Genesis games. Oh, man, I actually had the, uh, everyone had the Sonic the Hedgehog one. Oh, that's, the, yeah, that's, that's That came with the, uh, the console. That is really cool, though. Golden Axe, I think I've heard decent things about. Yeah. These oh, are, I like I, the fire Every time one. I see that, I think it's a red box until I realize oh, it's, a puzzle. It's, it's just a puzzle. <laughs> yep. Amazing. All right, well, let's keep looking. figures oh okay i do actually like those ones in the back because look they actually come with like beskar or other types of accessories like, accessories which is really cool and of uh, ig11 is one of my favorite droids of all time no one can tell me otherwise except for okay does does uh, does when maul has robot legs he's 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 not a droid right no okay good he's a cyborg Okay, well, he's my favorite sorry, cyborg. In the yeah, game. I mean, if it's if this was the Dragon Ball universe, then he would be an android. But You're it's right. not the Dragon Ball universe, so he's just a cyborg. That, sorry, I got really struck. Look how cool this car is. Oh, this hot rod? Yeah, that's really rad. So I like the Chucky. The Chucky is great. I do like the Chucky. Um, oh my God, look at Ash's eyes. He's he's seen some things, Wait, man. Wait, hold on. It's it's that spending, oh. spending 10 oh, years no. as a 10 year old. Oh no, that is a thousand yard stare. <laughs> it is, it is, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, shall we? Oh wait, there's the action figure section. Oh yes, the action figures. Before we make our final decision, I did want to show off the modern action figure section because there is some great stuff in here. I do really like that Batmobile. That looks rad. I wish I was more into the DC characters honestly like i obviously i love batman and a variety of the other um justice league heroes and i watched justice league unlimited and the teen version that they did like a while back and i love them but i never i've just never gotten in to the action figures i don't know why because like even look there's even a batman beyond and i just I love Terry, but I wouldn't be inclined to pick that up. Whereas for some reason, the Marvel ones, 
just appealed to me way more. I don't know what it is, because I was always more of a DC kid than I ever was Marvel. But there's just something about these that I really like. We're outside the shop and I have spent some money. And in fact, um, I may have gone a little bit overboard, but I don't care because first- It was partially my fault. It's partially Chaos Gold's fault, but you know what? I don't mind because first and foremost, for Chaos Gold. This is what's my fault. We got the Exo Squad Space Series Kaz Takuji action figure with Exo Fighter Space E frame, which honestly, I think is really cool. Now I actually, not super familiar with this show, but this is the one. This is one of the two I had as a kid. That's and so cool. And I broke down. It, I really like it. I really like the spaceship, like just sci-fi vibe of this. And from everything that Chaos Cultist has told me about this show, I probably would have loved it as a kid because it sounds very much more like an anime than your classic like '90s and '80s American cartoons, which is so my jam. So I'm really excited for this. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna be leaving it in box or not. We'll find out. And then the other thing that is definitely not staying in box that I bought because I have a problem is I, I had to get it. I had to get it. I had to get it. I love the clone troopers. I love Ahsoka's clone troopers specifically. And because I've been absolutely loving the Ahsoka series and I love Clone Wars and I love Rebels, I had to get this. The third one that will be added to my collection later on down the line, you can bet your bottom, is going to be Sabine's. I'm really excited for this. I'm sure you'll see content using this and honestly you'll probably see that action figure in the background at some point. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Do make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe so you never miss more. And before I head out, I do want to give a huge thank you to not only to Pot of Gold Collectibles for allowing us to film, but also, <laughs> also, to my patrons for making it so content like this can continue to happen. Without your guys' support, we would not be doing this, so thank you very, very much. I have been Angela, and I hope you have a wonderful hobby night. Yes, my precious, my precious.